Meanwhile, members of Chinatown's business community also sharing their disapproval for congestion pricing. Uh, some believe the toll will kill their businesses and are part of another lawsuit to try and put a stop to it. Yeah, PIX11's Jay Dow spoke with some of those local business owners to hear what they had to say. I'm sure they gave you an earful. Jay. They absolutely did, Kendis, and the business owners who we spoke with say they are still recovering from the economic blow they suffered more than two decades ago following the September 11th attacks. And they say that by forcing shoppers, diners, and workers to pay more to drive in is essentially going to turn the clock back and shutter businesses that are already struggling. This is such a bad news for us. District leader and business owner Justin Yu echoing the anti-congestion pricing sentiment expressed by many of his counterparts in Chinatown. The MTA is moving forward with plans to begin charging a $15 toll to travel below 60th Street in Manhattan effective June 30th. But this robust coalition, which includes supporters from Little Italy, Upper Manhattan, Queens and Staten Island, hopes its class action lawsuit can put enough pressure on the MTA to produce a new environmental impact statement. We have been here almost 200 years, but this congested pricing is going to kill us. We are dying here. MTA, have you heard us? I'm Italian. I live here. I work here. I cry every day when I see the deterioration of these neighborhoods. Come on, people. We want our cannolis. We want our pizzas. We want our dim sum in Chinatown. We need this stuff. And if, if this congestion pricing comes into effect, who's going to come to Little Italy? If they're forced to do an environmental impact statement, they have to mitigate, mitigate the damage they're doing. John McCarthy, the MTA's chief of policy and external affairs, telling PIX11 News, quote, we are responding to their pro-traffic lawsuit in court, where a 4,000-page environmental assessment will make the case that congestion relief delivers less traffic, safer streets, cleaner air, and more investment in the mass transit most people use. The agency argues an estimated $2 billion in new revenue is essential to maintaining and expanding a sprawling mass transit system used annually by several million riders. But Susan Lee, president of New Yorkers Against Congestion Pricing, says someone needs to call time out on the plan before it's too late. If this is going to be the first in the country, we need to get it right. And right. this is not right. We cannot keep going back to the drawing board once it's implemented. So the Chinatown Coalition cites recent data showing that this densely packed neighborhood suffers from an 11 percent business vacancy rate. That said, you've seen the toll infrastructure already set up across 60th Street. The system again set to go live on June 30th. We're live in Chinatown this evening. Jay Dow, PIX11 News.